All right, guys, for this particular demo, it's going to be a composition study of Arthur Streeton's Fires On. Fires On. Fires On. Yes. <laughs> and Arthur Streeton was a really good, really good landscape artist. You got to look him up and, and see his stuff. He's from Australia. Really, really good. Now, this was based a lot on our last episode, episode three, Brothers in Art, where we talked about value. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Using values in composition. And even though I'm using color here, this is kind of a practical example of how you can study, you know, the masters and understand yeah. how they set up their compositions and how, how they used value, how they used color and all of that. You can just limit it to value if you want to do a value study, but so what's color your helps too. before you get too much paint on mm -hmm. there, I guess, what's your setup here beforehand? I mean what how Yeah, do you so do that? yeah, so I've got an old canvas. It's an old toned canvas that I messed up on another <laughs> painting or something. <laughs> Shh, messed up. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Yeah, scraped it off, <laughs> wiped it down. And and I just used charcoal. It was like a you know, two minute block in for that. I just it's important to get the ratio, the proportion mm. of the you know, the picture frame. Like you don't wanna work from something that is the wrong size because you're not breaking up the you know the composition in the same way then that they were. You're not studying yeah, it. Yeah, of you're course. Just, you're... It seems like a simple thing, but you 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 really yeah. have to pay attention. Yeah, you do. And you're I... getting the right proportions. Right, right. And I just <laughs> I, yeah, I just like to set myself up like that because otherwise you're you're doing something that's way too wide, and all of a sudden you're like, right. wait, what is the... this? Isn't working, you know? <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. So halfway yeah. through, you'll you'll end up doing that. And and what you can see me doing here is is putting in the large masses of value and color and you're framing it out there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And 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 that's. That's one of the main things that I would that I want to get across to you guys is that when you're doing a composition study, it can be really easy. It's like kind of like the sirens calling for you when for detail <laughs> and things like that. You know, um, mm -hmm. you want to put in all these details, and and it depends what your personality is, but you don't want to move in that direction when you're studying composition. If you're stu doing a regular master study, that's great. You know, go for it. You know, go all the way. But when you're doing a composition study, you really want to focus on how they use values. And colors, those big mass, those big masses, those big shapes of value and color, how they distribute them on the picture plane, is really the key. And that's what we talked about in our episode. You yeah. know, it's it's that's those are the decisions they're making that you're trying to learn. So this is only two inches by four that's inches. Pretty small. Yeah, though. it's really small. So I'm just I'm just trying to trying to keep it small so that you know it forces me to stick with the well, big stuff. Your palette in this now. Uh, mm -hmm. Did you prepare the palette ahead of time, or were you doing it on the fly, or what? Yeah, I was mixing on the fly. Okay. So um, this probably took a little bit over an hour to do this, because um, I was uh, trying to. I could probably do it a little faster, but I was trying to be trying to be pretty accurate. Yeah, <laughs> deliberate. Yeah. yeah do it, especially since I was filming it. <laughs> um, it's a good motivator. Yeah. <laughs> but um, that's why I haven't done one yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man. But but I, yeah, mix it on the fly and. And um, the interesting thing about this was when I put in that sky up there, I realized I, I hadn't used cobalt blue on my palette for a long time. And I've, I, I just haven't felt necessary. I don't do too many landscapes. I get out every once in a while. But um, a lot of landscape guys use cobalt. But I realized, I was like, you know what? I need to get that really strong, powerful blue back there. Because his sky is so intense. Yeah, and yeah. It, it could be partially from the picture that someone took. But I also think that my ultramarine blue is really lacking and um, yeah. it's kind of grayish, and it, mm -hmm. I, I found that I wasn't able to achieve that kind of really intense blue, and so I started using this Blox Primary Blue. Blox is the brand of paint, and I'll put all my, all the paints that I use, the medium and all that stuff, I'll put that all below if you guys want to see that, the brushes and all of that. Mm -hmm. um, but that Blox Primary Blue is just crazy intense. It's like, I actually have to watch out for when I use it, because I have to sometimes just touch it to the pile just ever so slightly like pinprick really yeah it's so powerful which is awesome that's what you want yeah that's good you know you want really powerful Pure paints pigment, like, man. yeah so anyways <laughs> this showed me you know even even beyond what i was learning about how he set up the composition it showed me kind of an area that my palette was lacking in that i wanted to fill and well, round me, out let me ask you another question about this because it seems to me <clears throat> as i look at this painting there's very very few values going on at all yeah, yeah. Which is, a, it's surprising. I it mean, is. Because he's getting a lot of, there's a lot going on. Yeah. And yet there's, I mean, what, yeah, what about it's, that? it's really true. That's a really good point. I mean, that's one of the main things that I noticed. Like, he, pretty much the lower two thirds of the painting is pretty similar in value. I mean, you have the bottom right, which is pretty bright. But overall, if you kind of squint and let your eyes go a little bit blurry, you can see 
it's really similar in value. Now, not it's not similar in color. The color changes a lot of areas. Which That's he's, how he accomplishes right, it. Right, it's great. Yeah. So, so he has this area that is pretty much a mass of the same value, especially on the left side. That's pretty much a mass of yeah. all one value. And then he uses those accents. Uh, well, he, he uses the shadows under the rocks as mm. accents to break that up and mm -hmm. and you know give some texture and and give some you know interest and in all of that. You know. Well. Well, this is a great exercise. Um, I know that we're going to have some more coming up in the future. Hopefully, I'm going to yeah, be doing some as well. Yeah. And I would encourage everybody, you know, yeah. get, get out there, do some composition studies like this. I want to do a thousand. Now, that's going to take me <laughs> a really long time. I want to I want to do a thousand, though. I, I'm at, I don't know what I'm at. I'm max out I, our hard drive space. <laughs> no, no, I won't videos. film them all. I won't okay. film them all. But, <laughs> but I do want to do a thousand just because I want... I right. want the principles of composition to kind of be absorbed you into my to, subconscious. Right, you gotta yeah. you gotta practice. It. And it, I mean, and like and you know, like I said, it teaches you other things, and yeah. and um, you know, even though you're not doing details, it still teaches you. I mean, what's better than understanding how to put together, yeah. uh, yeah. you know, an effective image and all of that? So, well, so check, it's great. Check us out, guys, on the web. Don't forget, yeah. we're at brosinart at gmail .com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, mm -hmm. and Instagram. We have some pic pictures that have gone up on Instagram. Yeah, that's right. Please post some comments mm -hmm. about this. If you have any questions, um, there's lots we haven't talked about. Us, yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah. with this uh, this quick of a demo. If you have any questions for John in particular, right. Um, mm -hmm. On this one, he'll be glad to answer them in the comments below. And hey, if you um, guys do a composition study, film yeah. it. We'll feature it. You film know? it, and mm -hmm. yeah, we'll mention it on uh, one of our future videos. Yeah, and absolutely. I think you'll most definitely see the benefits of um, doing an exercise like this. And this is yeah. something I did yeah. in pencil, even with our class and stuff like that. Um, like I was talking about mm -hmm. before. Yeah. Um, even yeah. with pencil, with any medium, this is a, a yeah. beneficial thing to do. Yeah. So, so get out there and do it, guys. Go Thank for it. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Yep, and we'll catch you next time. Yeah. Fun. Brothers in art. <laughs>